Hi, welcome back to another episode of Nerdy Daydreams. We are back in the parks and today we are kicking things off at DCA, Disney's California Adventure. And it's gonna be a really good day. We're here for a very casual day and we're kicking things off with uh, dining reservations at Lamplight Lounge. I am so proud of myself. I never remember to make dining reservations and you can make them up to 60 days in advance. So for whatever reason, about 60 days ago, I was like, ooh, Lamplight Lounge. Uh, so we're going and you're gonna see what we're eating in just a second, but like sneak preview, if you don't like Brussels sprouts, yes, you do. Come check this out. When you make a reservation at Lamplight Lounge, you can pull up your app and when it's close to your time, you can check in via the app. So I just checked in and now we're waiting for our names to be called. This is our second time ever in Lamplight Lounge. The theming here is on point. It's obviously Pixar based, hence the name Lamplight Lounge, like the little Pixar lamp that uh, you see at the beginning of every Pixar film. And yeah, the vibe in here is just like, it's so chill compared to the, the chaos that is California Adventure. So I'm happy that we're here right now having a nice quiet lunch. And this is a great seat. It's just next to the bar, but the bar's pretty empty right now and we're not really next to any other guests. It feels like our own little private area. I don't know, just like, just really enjoying it. So much cool artwork. Oh, and some, yeah, some of the posters are in different languages as well. All right, so straight off the menu, we ordered the Brussels Caesar, the Impossible Burger, and the Brownie. <laughs> So the Brussels Caesar is made with house-made dressing, toasted pine nuts, and garlic croutons with roasted red pepper, tomato sauce, and parmesan. The Impossible Burger is made with two seasoned patties, American cheese, house bread, grilled onions, lettuce, and tomato on a potato bun. That burger is... <laughs> All right, so food just arrived, and I don't know if you heard Mary, but it is absolutely massive. Double patty double the cheese, we got some fries, and then that is the Brussels sprouts. This is what we're gonna fight over. The burger looks amazing, but the Brussels sprouts are why we're here. And you might be like, Mary, Brussels sprouts, but OMG, they are so good, they're so good. Wow. Yep. So good. Hold on, let me finish chewing. Imagine Brussels sprouts roasted to perfection. Maybe light oil, salt, pepper on there. But then you put Caesar salad ingredients on top. So there's like a delicious dressing, there's pine nuts, there's the vegan cheese. It's just like, it's so good. Five out of five for sure. All right, so I'm gonna to attempt to cut this in half with a butter knife. <laughs> There we go, not too bad, not too bad. I did uh, ruin the bread on that one a little bit, so I'll... I'll eat that one. No, it's okay, I got it. I'll take one for the team. Oh, that's much more manageable now. And if you want to see inside there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's try it. That's definitely one of the better burgers at the Disney park. There is a few impossible burgers that you can get around the resort, but I think this one is just just cooked way better. I would definitely give this um, a five out of five. This is this is a really good burger. Have to try the fries. The brownie is made with vanilla ice cream, berry sauce, and macerated berries. And look at that, the brownie just arrived. That is a very, very generous dollar of ice cream. Oh my gosh, I didn't even look at it yet. That looks so good. Comes with some fresh fruit. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Go for it. Mm. OK. 
Okay. The brownie just like melted when I put it in my mouth. Like it didn't, I didn't have to chew it at all. And the ice cream, coconutty. Let me get one more bite before I give you my full answer. The brownie feels more like cake to me. I'm gonna give it a four. I wish the brownie was a little bit more chewy like a brownie rather than melt in your mouth like cake. Let's see what Simon has to say. I, I'm gonna throw Mary's review in the trash. In the trash. This is an amazing brownie. I don't think it tastes like cake. I think it's slightly underbaked. It just just melts in your mouth like a lot quicker than like a traditional stodgy brownie. I know stodgy is not an American word, but it's like like thick and you know. This is um, yeah. It's, like, it's definitely like a lighter a lighter. Uh, flour if that makes sense um, the ice cream I didn't get like a lot of coconut like Mary did when I tried it it was more heavy on the vanilla bean which I really appreciate because a bit on ice cream is my favorite so that was really nice this is easily a five out of five for me but like dessert at Disneyland this is incredible and the portion is huge as well like I really appreciate how big a dollop of ice cream that is I think it's a four I'm gonna eat this whole thing I think it's a we'll, just cut, we'll just cut to the part where the uh, <laughs> where the plate is completely empty. Okay. <laughs> Another. Is this the lamp? Lamplight Lounge is such a good restaurant. Not only is it beautiful in there, but the food is delicious. Five out of five for that whole place. And now, I know you're technically supposed to wait 30 minutes after you eat to go swimming, but um, Ariel's Little Mermaid Adventure is calling us. What's it called? Ariel's Undersea Adventure is calling us. So we're gonna head over there. By the way, if you haven't heard, the original entrance has opened back up and I'm so excited. Let's get over there. Recently, uh, Little Mermaid got a lightning lane and temporarily you were having to enter for both lightning lane and standby around the bend and it just wasn't as scenic. But now they have uh, refurbed the entrance and you can enter for lightning lane or standby right through the beautiful archway like, like it was designed. Mary's just having a breakdown because it's the best ride. So good Disneyland. Disneyland. Buzz Lightyear's After Blasters, 35 minutes. Last week we were here and for whatever reason we were like, let's just go on one ride without filming it. We go on Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters. I get the highest score I've ever gotten in my life and we do not have it on camera, but it was a really good day. 
maybe we'll go on that today if the line is a little bit shorter. What was the train? Train was five minutes. Big Thunder's 45. Indiana Jones temporarily closed. We've decided to park hop because we haven't been on the Disneyland Railroad in a while. So let's go check it out. Just a quick duck date. Everyone is happy and healthy. Having a great day. came to Disneyland with a plan to go on the train, but we did not realize how well we timed it with the Magic Happens parade. So that was so fun to see it a little bit as we got on the train and then to see it again uh, right over by its small world. And oh my gosh, when the train cut through the actual route of the parade or where the cast members exit the parade and we got to see Moana, ah, that was such a magical moment. Yeah, I had no idea that the parade actually crossed the tracks. Me neither. I figured when they said we were going to pass the parade that we would be going over and they would be going in an underpass, so that was cool. Isn't it so nice that we've been coming here for so many years and there's still little things that we're always discovering? Yes, or it's been long enough that we forget things. Like we hadn't been to Lamplight Lounge for a year, we haven't been on the train for, I don't know, probably a year. It's nice. Well, now we're gonna go into the Emporium on Main Street and see what new merch is around. Mary's lost me, she's uh, she's looking around for me. She's gonna sneak up on her. <laughs> I don't know where you went. <laughs> this is what I really wanted to see, the Pride merch just came out. Jersey. Isn't that pretty? That's really cool. That's $74.99. Took me a while to work out what DLR means. Disneyland Resort. Uh, I, in my head I was thinking. Disneyland Railroad. Because <laughs> we were yeah, just on the railroad. <laughs> yeah. Disneyland Resort. That's cool. Um, a matching hat. $29.99. There's also a really bright and beautiful lounge fly. Oh, it says love in different languages. Oh, that's, that's nice. Oh, this is what I really want the mug. How cool is that? Okay, look at the rainbow handle. And then inside is the castle. That's awesome. So every time you're drinking your coffee, yeah, when you, you finish nice, it, yeah, when you got a nice, yeah, exactly, when you finish it. And it's 19.99. Oh, oh yeah, there's the back Disneyland. How cool is that? I kind of want this. How, how much did you say it was? 19.99. Oh, that's not bad. 
Um, it's wait. cheaper than a Starbucks mug. Please wait a second. <laughs> I'm always cold, but maybe. I was, yeah, I was going to say, when are you actually going to use that? Wait, I'm obsessed. This doesn't have a price on it. That's really cute. This is $59.99. That's not bad. Anything on the back? No. Nice and clean. I kind of like that. Like the um, spirit, the spirit jerseys. I looked at them. They're they're black and sparkly, which right up my alley. Um, it some of the writing is like kind of on the butt, and that's cool. But because I have wider hips, fabric usually bunches there, so that's less exciting to me. But this feels right up my alley. Oh my gosh! And those are embroidered. We're going to the Pride Night event, and I'm looking for something to wear. So I don't know what the temperature is going to be like in June in the middle of the night, but maybe I'll need a hoodie. My goodness, my friend Amelia is going to freak out when she sees this. <laughs> she loves Stitch, and I feel like Rainbow Stitch would be right up her alley. In fact, I'm going to take a selfie with it and text it to her right now. So this is the uh, spirit jersey you're talking about, right? Yeah, it's so cute, but I just know that would be bunched up on my butt. Gotcha. Yeah, it's a, really, it's a very cool design though. I love the sparkles, it's so pretty. Are they the kind of sparkles that come off when you touch them? No. No, okay, that's good. They're built in. Oh, this is kind of fun. There's like a very clean bucket hat. The ears are just like the lounge fly. Oh, they're really fun. They are really tight. The love has a good grasp on me. <laughs> $54.99. Oh, and it says Disneyland on the sleeve. When Disneyland posted this merch on Instagram, there were some not nice comments. But when we walked into the store, it was so crowded around here, we had to wait our turn. So if you see those mean comments on Instagram, people love this merch and they love you. So we decided since there was uh, a lot of Pride merch on Main Street, we're going to see if there's any Star Wars specific pride merge inside Star Traders. Man, we'll get it, big guy. <laughs> R3 RN8W. Renew? Renew. Rainbow. Oh, I'm so silly. <laughs> JK, everyone. <laughs> I knew that said rainbow. <laughs> R3 Rainbow. Understood. Um, $14.99. Cute. That's fun. Tiny little baby droid. I wonder if they have the BB-8 version. So they do have the BB, BBU droid, um, which is so cute for Pride. It's the same price, $14.99. BBU, I get it. There's also this pin. And the pin is $17.99, and I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, our team moves on it. How cute is that? The Star Wars Pride merch is minimal so far. Um, I remember last year there were t-shirts and a few more things, and a really kind cast member told us, like, you never know, they might do a second, jo uh, second drop closer to June, so we'll see what happens. Maybe by the time this video comes out, we'll have breaking news for you. We'll keep an eye out. And from here, uh, I gotta admit to you, we're feeling a little bit lazy right now. We, we we're filming two videos in one day, uh, and we the one we did this morning was more go go go. So now we're just allowing ourselves to be a little bit lazy. And the closest thing we've got here to a lazy river is Pirates of the Caribbean. So we're gonna walk over there and see what that wait time's like. That is the line for pirates. Hey, send in 
hints of Davy Jones. It's the rum they want. <laughs> Drink up, me arties. Yo ho! <laughs> Pirates is a classic that just never gets old for me, and honestly, I was so shocked by how fast that line went. It had wrapped like up past the entrance and up the little ramp, up the bridge, up the bridge and it really just went really fast. So that ride is a people eater, if you will. It just moves through everyone quickly, and it was such a relaxing time. Got to cool off a little bit. Um, my heart raced with the two drops. That you know, if you haven't been on it, they're small drops. You'll be fine. But anyway, we walked out, saw these beautiful roses behind me, and I was inspired. I was like, ah, oh, you know what roses remind me of? Red Rose Tavern. We should probably go there and try their delicious new lemonade that has rose water in it. So that's where we're headed next. So this is the Red Rose Lemonade. It's strawberry lemonade with a touch of rose water garnished with a rose petal. Yeah. That's exactly what it tastes like, a strawberry lemonade with a hint of rose. I want to say the strawberry is the most uh, powerful taste. But I can taste the lemon and yeah, it's, it's a hint of rose. So if you don't like floral things, I think you'll still be fine. I'll let Simon be the judge of that, but I mean, I would give this a five. I'm also so thirsty right now. Um, I think this is maybe like a little sweeter than the Pasana punch, which we tried in Galaxy's Edge, um, if you got to catch that video. S similar sweetness, maybe a tiny bit sweeter. Okay, five. All right, so you know we must be dehydrated if we're both getting a drink, because usually we always split one. But I got my own today, so we're gonna see how this is. Um, so this is not that floral. Um, I would say the, the most floral thing I've had at Disneyland is probably the green milk from Galaxy's Edge, and this is no way near as floral as that. Um, this just tastes very sweet. But it's really good. I, I, I would get this again. It's nothing like... It's nothing special. It's not, it's, not as, it's not as nostalgic to me as the Pasana Punch was, but it is a good drink. Um, I'd probably give it five out of five. And yeah, I'd get it again. That tea from Red Rose Tavern was everything I wanted it to be and more, and you know what? It ended up being the perfect way to end our day here at Disneyland. So thanks so much for hanging out with us in this more casual style vlog. Let us know if you like these kind of videos in the comments. If you do, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. I have this birthday goal of getting to a thousand subscribers. I don't know if that's silly or not, but my birthday's at the end of the summer and gosh, it would make my day if you subscribed. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the comments and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.